Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can display photos of user accounts in Active Directory during logon in Windows operating system. Microsoft apps such as Outlook, SharePoint, Office 365, Skype for Business, etc. allows you to display the photos of currently signed in users during the logon process and also after you log in while checking the user properties. So I will show you how you can use Active Directory users photos as an account logon image, also called an avatar for a Windows user profile that appears on lock screen, welcome screen, in the start menu, and in a few other places of a Windows operating system. So I'm going to use a PowerShell script here. This script runs when the user logs on to Windows to get the user's photo from Active Directory, specifically the thumbnail photo attribute, and it will set that as the profile picture of Windows user profile. Okay, the first step is to store the user's photo in an attribute of the user account called thumbnail photo in Active Directory. And by the way, you can set images for your users using any third-party tools or the set-adusr PowerShell commandlet from the Active Directory modules for Windows PowerShell. So I will be using the set-adusr PowerShell commandlet for this demo. Okay, I'm on my domain controller. The first thing, I've already saved my photo in C Drive users photo folder. And you can see I have two photos, one for myself and another one for another user called Michael Green. And the file type should be either uh, JPEG or BMP format. Mine is in JPEG format. Just remember the image file size must not exceed 100 kilobytes and the image resolution should not go beyond 96 by 96 pixels. So in order to set this photo for my user account, Michael Green, I'm going to run the command in PowerShell. So this first command will save a photo in a variable called $photo. Here, I'm going to get the content of the photo using the get-content command along with the file path of the photo and encode that file in bytes and convert the value into bytes. So I'm going to press enter. The second command set-adusr will set the value of the user attribute thumbnail photo to the variable dollar photo so basically it will set the photo for the user michael green so i'm going to press enter and now we can see this in active directory users and computers search for the user account michael green so it is in the ou it and users so i'm going to right click on the account and click on properties and if i go into attribute editor and look for the attribute thumbnail photo which now contains a value. So I'll perform the same steps for my user account, which is Kiran Dhananjaya. So I got my photo into the photos variable, and I'm going to use the commandlet set hyphen ad user and type my username, and I'm going to set the photo for my user account. Okay, now for all users in Active Directory, you can obviously script this using PowerShell, which I'm not going to cover in this video. But just be mindful if you have thousands of users in Active Directory, then your Active Directory database size can grow substantially. Next, you need to configure a domain group policy that will configure the environment options to use Active Directory user photos as the account logon images on Windows computers. So I'm still on my domain controller and I will open up group policy management console. Now I will right click on my domain, tastybiryani.local, and I'm going to click on create a GPO in this domain and link it here. In my case, I will link this new GPO to the entire domain, tastybiryani.local, 
but you can link this new GPO to an OU that contains the computer objects of your desktops, laptops, and servers. So I'm going to click on create a GPO in this domain and link it here. I will call this new GPO user photo and click on OK. I will right click on the new GPO users photo and click on edit. To set the user's photo, your users need to have a permission to a registry key, which will allow them to change their profile photo directly via the registry. So the registry key is HKey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Account Picture, Users. So to deploy the registry key permissions in an Active Directory domain using GPO, navigate to the GPO section, Computer Configuration, Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, and Registry. So right click on Registry and click on Add Key. Navigate to Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Account Picture, Users. Click OK. Now in the Security tab, you need to grant full control permissions to the domain users group. So I'm going to click on add and type users, click on check name and click OK. And now I'm going to give full control to the domain users group. I'll click apply, click OK. Now I'm going to select the option replace existing permissions on all sub keys with inheritable permissions. Otherwise, users won't have privileges to nested registry subkeys. So click on OK. You also need to enable another policy, which is found under Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, Group Policy. And on the right side, scroll down a little and right click on Configure User Group Policy Loopback Processing Mode and click on Edit. Select Enabled. And for the mode, set it to Merge. Click OK. So this will allow you to apply the policy to OU with computer accounts. Close this GPO and Group Policy Management Console MMC Snap-in. Next, you need to create a PowerShell script that will run when your users log into Windows on their desktop or laptop. So this PowerShell script, which I'm talking about, will be used to get the current user's photo from Active Directory using the value set on the thumbnail photo attribute of the current user from Active Directory. And it will save it to a local folder as a JPEG file and set it as the user's profile image. And this PowerShell script works on all supported operating systems starting from Windows 8.1 all the way up to Windows 11 and Windows Server 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2022, including scenarios with standalone RDS hosts and remote desktop services forms. So I'm still on my domain controller and I will open up Notepad. I will paste the script into the Notepad. I will also put a GitHub link for the script in the description of this video. Now we'll save the script in the net logon UNC path of my domain, which is tastybiryani.local net logon. Press enter. And I'm going to name this as set ad user picture dot ps1. And for the file type, I will say all files and click on save. Now I will open up group policy management console and expand my domain tastybiryani.local. Right click on the new GPO that we created, user photo, and click on edit. So you need to run the PowerShell script that we saved in the net logon folder when the user logs into Windows. The easiest way to implement this is to use GPO logon script feature in group policy. So I will expand user configuration, policies, Windows settings, scripts, log on or log off. So I'm going to double click on log on and go to the PowerShell scripts tab, click on add, and I'm going to click on browse, specify the UNC path of my net log on, which is tastybiryani.local net log on, press enter. I'll select the PowerShell script, click open, click OK, click apply and click OK. I'm going to close the GPO, and close out GPMC on my domain controller. 
Now I'm on my Windows 10 domain join machine. I've logged in as an administrator. So I'm going to open up command prompt as an administrator. I will type gp update forward slash force command to sync the group policy changes. I'm going to log off and log in back. And sometimes you need to do it twice to apply the new GPO settings. I will now log in as Michael Green. Now let me see if the user's photo from AD is now displayed on the start menu. I can see the user's photo and if I go into change account settings, I can see the user's photo right here. Okay, let me log off. Okay, I can see the user accounts photo of Michael Green on the logon screen. Now I'm going to log in with my account. All right, so let me click on start menu and I can see my photo. If I click on it, click change account settings. On the right side, I can see the photo. Okay, now if I go into C drive users public account pictures, I don't see anything right here, but if you check hidden item, you can see the folders for two users with their user SID and clicking on one of them shows the mapping of the users with different resolutions. Now, if this policy does not work, then you need to check if your Windows is activated. If your Windows is not activated, it will not display the user's image. And also you can run rsop.msc which will open up resultant set of policy and navigate to computer settings, administrative templates, control panel, user accounts, and ensure the policy apply the default logon picture to all users is set to not configured. If it is configured, then this setup will not work to display the user account images. Now, in my case, I don't have that option enabled and that's why it is not showing up the control panel user account settings. You can also use the GP result command line tool to troubleshoot group policy on a target computer. I hope you liked this video and found it informative. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.